Greetings critters, it's Vox here and welcome to my Burrow of Thoughts, aka my channel where we talk about everything spooky. And today will be part two of my first haul of 2023. We have The Cursed Among Us by John Durgan. Then we have Keep It in the Family by John Mars. And lastly, we have a double feature in one book. We have The World's Scariest Places, Volume 2, which has Helltown and Island of Dolls. So settle into your bros because things are about to get spooky. So the first book I'm going to talk about is The Cursed Among Us. So a little bit about the plot. Stay out of the woods is a known warning. But to Howie and his friends, rules are meant to be broken, especially when you're filming your own indie horror film. But when the group stumbles upon a mysterious grave and disturb it, they will soon find out what it means to be cursed. So this book I grabbed, it is a smaller read and that intrigued me. I like a good fast read sometimes, but it is also a story about ghosts, demons, and possession and I am so here for it it I've already read it I will be reviewing it but I grabbed this mainly because I love a good possession story and I love ghosts so John Durgan's The Cursed Among Us I'm super happy to add this to my shelf the next book I grabbed is Keep It in the Family by John Mars another author that I have not read um, also haven't read from John Durgan before, so I'm trying to expand my um, author collections and trying to get more authors instead of just buying from ones that I know I'll like. So this is about a expecting couple. They buy a home at an auction unseen, and they go and they renovate it. Upon renovating it, they make a horrific discovery, and that is all the synopsis tells you. So I am super intrigued. I want to know what the discovery is and will it make ghosts appear or poltergeist or something along the paranormal lines or is this going to be a deep mystery, heart racing and pumping thriller. So I had to grab it. Again, I have never read John Mars, but I've heard really good things. So I just, I had to pick it up. Okay, so this is my double feature book. It has two books in one, very chunky. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Helltown. So what Helltown is about is a group of outsiders go into this mysterious town known for the cult and paranormal activity. They want to investigate and they find themselves stranded and soon find out why that town doesn't like outsiders, and why many don't leave. So I've read Jeremy Bates before. He is a hit or miss for me, but I got this on a super good deal, two books for a really great price. I had to grab it. I did, I do, sorry, want to read Helltown. I do want to read Island of the Dolls, so I figured get it in one book. So super excited to dive into Helltown. And then we have, and then we have the other book that's in this collection, or the two book collection, which is Island of the Dolls by Jeremy Bates. So the Island of the Dolls is about a haunted island on the outskirts of Mexico that is filled and shrouded with just decrepit dolls. So a group goes in hopes of finding out what all the hype is about. Is it true? Is it haunted? What's the deal with the dolls? But stumble upon a murder. So I grabbed Island of the Dolls. Main, well, I grabbed this mainly because I wanted Island of the Dolls. Because it sounds like a really good mystery. I don't think it's going to lean into paranormal as much as it's going to lean into a thriller or a mystery about who or what murdered this person they find. So I'm super excited to dive into this and give Jeremy Bates another try. I have three of his other books. Out of the three I have, I've only read two, Merfolk and The Catacombs. Catacombs was good. 
Merfolk didn't hit the spot for me, and I still have to read Mountain of the Dead, so why not add more Jeremy Bates to my TBR? Like, why not? Well, critters, that's all from this Den of Frights today. Thank you so much for being here and watching and your never-ending support. It means the whole wide and wild wilderness to me, critters. It really does. Thank you again, and until next time, stay cozy and stay spooky. Bye.